Hello everybody and welcome back to No Place Like Home. Like I said, I ran back to the farm last time and uh, took a sleep. And so now my peppers are actually ready, which is really cool because I'm pretty sure there's something. Oh, and a load more blueberries. So I'm pretty sure there's something I can get from Rudy and there's something I can get from Mark today. I have all of Gramps' recipes now, I think. I think. Do I have berry picker three? Because that's the that's a duck egg thing. Uh, right. Oh no, I still need to purchase that. Okay. Berry picker three still needs to be purchased from Gramps with the duck eggs. So let's just uh, start off then. We will plant, we will get duck eggs off ducks. I have five ducks now think. Yes, I do. I have five of them. So that's amazing. I'm just going to pick all the duck eggs off them as much as possible. Unfortunately, I am kind of grabbing some chicken eggs on the way because it's hard to just pick up the duck eggs, but I don't really need chicken eggs, so I'm trying not to. There we are. Okay, so we've got peppers. I've got blueberries have many many tomatoes apparently and I'm gonna have a whole my inventory is full wow well that hasn't happened in a while and now I said I was gonna put rubber waste in with the glue waste um, so we will definitely want to keep a couple of those I've got more farm plots as well to put away I've got a lot of seeds to plant Batteries to put away. I can't recycle batteries, I don't think. I have a lot of everything to plant, to be fair. My goodness. Now, oh, this is going to be quite the planting session, isn't it? Um, okay, well, peppers can go here where, with all the other peppers. So we have a whole field of peppers going on, won't we? And then there's some more peppers. <laughs> Just when you think you've finished them all, there's more. Probably actually fill almost this entire field with them, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so then we have some blueberries. Do we have any more pepper seeds? We have many more pepper seeds. So let's just block out this entire farm in pepper seeds then. And then I'll just uh, I'll just preserve them. So there's a few recipes that I need to use the peppers on. And I, like I said, this is probably going to be quite a bit of uh, farming at the beginning of this episode. Just... Oh no, 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 no. There's one more space. Oh yeah. So that entire field will be peppers. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've got a load more stuff to get here. I've got space though now. So that's good. Oh no, my inventory is full again. How will I survive? Okay, well we've got one corn plant to plant, so let's just plant that down there. That'll give me some space. There's a few carrots to plant. Well, why don't we plant them in where the carrots were before, which is this section here. Give me room for my carrots and we're just going to preserve like everything. And I do actually have a chest, which is for preserves. Uh, for things to preserve, if I don't have enough preservers to preserve those things. Okay, so let's just put some things in. I've got lots. Right. How about we don't need I doubt we're gonna need potatoes anymore for anything, so let's put those away. We're gonna have oh, do you know what? I do need peppers at the moment. Let's just keep like No, I'll keep them all actually. Keep all the peppers and blueberries. Throw throw out the tomatoes. I'll do for that one. Then lettuces. 
Some of the carrots. Corn. We're keeping the duck eggs. Pumpkins. For some reason I have one chicken egg here. Don't need that. I think that's all I want to preserve right now. We have lots of junk to put in the junk machines, so I may as well just do that. That will give me a lot of space. I did a lot of cleaning last episode, to be fair. Still got some more rubber waste, actually. So these are all upgraded now, which is wonderful. Really helps when you've got two days worth of cleaning to stick in there. Um, I will stick in that electrical waste and I will stick in 40s worth of rubber waste. I don't think I need too much rubber waste anymore. I think I have probably a lot more rubble than I'm going to need and I have a lot more old wood than I'm going to need. I basically have a chest full, so we've kept a bit of rubber waste. We've recycled a bit of rubber waste. Wonderful. Right, so that's helpful. Um, so now hopefully I can use the space that I've got to pick up all this. All this. And then I've still got one recycler, one preserver left that I can use to just, like, get rid of all of this. basically got most of the field here which is wonderful so uh i will start maybe at this end actually with some blueberries i don't think i have quite as many blueberries as i have peppers i think i have slightly more than 16 though is that all of them still got some tomato seeds Peppers. Um, I can put my spare farm sections into the spare farm section chest. Trying to be tidy. And we've got spare acorns as well. Okay, we're getting there with it. I'm not going to plant any more. Um... Any more peppers right now? Just gonna go into the blueberry field a little bit with the pumpkins there. Um, strawberries. So I've got lots of random stuff that I've picked up, lots of random seeds, so I'm just going to get them gone. And then we'll go back to peppers. Okay, fine. So I think they're all strawberries. And they're pepper seeds, they're pepper seeds, they're pepper seeds, tomatoes. Kind of go here. I'm trying to be a little bit good about where I put things, but I'm just gonna fill in some of the gaps here with aubergines. Use that as a bit of a filler. Okay, that's cool. And then I guess I can put some peppers in here, and again just fill gaps with them. Okay, so because this is kind of a farming chest, I guess, we'll just put the spare peppers in there. Right, cool. Kind of there with it now. We've got 22 pepper seeds, and we've got about 50 pepper seeds to, to do once everything is done here. Typical one potato. Okay, fine, I'm leaving that, I don't care. Right, so uh, we still got one preserver. Don't have stuff in it. 
I'm going to fill it with corn. So now we've got carrots. We've got one potato. <laughs> carrots, blueberries, uh, peppers and duck eggs, which are the, the things that we need right now. Now one potato. I'll put that in there. <laughs> right, so peppers. I think I will put uh, a stack of blueberries and one stack of peppers. Uh, keep the duck eggs with me. And then in here, which is my overflow chest, I stick all the carrots. I keep actually one is going to keep in my inventory. Uh, duck eggs. Hmm, one blueberry. I, I need more than one blueberry. I'm going to have to take. No, I've got 10. Okay. Got 11 blueberries. Got 10 peppers. I will need some tomatoes eventually. Got batteries that I don't need there. Uh, okay. Right. Batteries and components and stuff. Let's put them away. Right. I think that is a much nicer looking inventory. <laughs> May as well keep the books on me because I'm about to go and do a load of books. Um, I do want to make seeds though. Is there a thing for seeds? Yes, there was. I need one potato for that. Okay. Um, I will come back later and make seeds. I, I, I don't need them right now, do I? Of course I don't. Let's go and see Rudy and see what we can buy off him. Then we'll go see Mark and see what we can buy off him. Oops, went totally the wrong way there. And we'll go see Gramps. Recipes, please. Right, so we've done all of the drill ones. Need bread for that one. I need blueberries for the hardened drill upgrade, so that's going to help me with clearing out stuff. It means I'll be able to clear stuff quicker. I've got this one, which is also duck eggs, which is a trash extractor three. Lovely. So now I need, yeah, so it's ice cream. I need some more books as well. Ice cream and bread here now. Um, so we used like a whole stack of 10 books. <laughs> Let's go get some more books out of my chest. I don't even know why I picked those up. I just felt sorry for the raccoon. I thought he wanted me to pet him, okay? Right, so next we're gonna pick up books. Then we're going to go see Mark and see what we can do. Oh, I need to make pepper renata. I'm sure I have the recipe for that. So I think it is just peppers and tomatoes. Just pick those up. Pepper renata. Pepper renata and peppers. So I think there's two things we can get off him. So that is my, oh, an improved preserving machine. That is actually with the amount of stuff I'm sticking in there all the time. That is actually useful. Um, can't do the turbo sprinkler, but that's fine. A bigger backpack. Wonderful. Okay, so now it's just it's just the pizza for the turbo sprinkler for Mark. Um, so let's go and see Gramps now. Provided we still have one duck egg, we do. <laughs> so that'll be the last recipe off of Gramps. So there'll be a couple of recipes I think that we've still got to do for Rudy. That require bread and ice cream and things. 
And we still need the pizza recipe for Mark, but other than that, we're all done. I still need to make a new pig pen for Napoleon as well. I will, I'll get around to that totally. Yeah, obviously. I will absolutely get around to that. Mm hmm Okay, so Barry Pickers Gloves 3. So let's go back and see what we can make. That might be the whole day. Just just spent around the farm just doing upgrades and stuff but we are really close to having them all done and um although i think there's going to be a few things that i need to make for frank we could make the ultimate fruit salad i'm pretty sure we have the stuff for it i think and that will be a door open in my house then i don't have i don't think anyway i have ultimate truffle surprise i could look at that actually these out oh man my beepers are beeping at me you know what my beepers are right go on the charger and shut up okay so hopefully I haven't forgotten what I was doing. There was, we got, you get very, very big um, upgrades in, in the amount of stuff you get from putting electrical waste and, and rubber waste and all that sort of thing in. It, you do get a lot more. I don't need it though. And honestly, it's the trash that clogs my inventory up like nothing. Okay. Ultimate fruit salad. It requires one blueberry, one strawberry, an orange, one peach. One peach, orange, strawberry, blueberry. Ultimate fruit salad is go. I don't think we have ultimate truffle surprise though. I will check. No, we just have Truffle Surprise. Uh, but I think we need Ultimate Truffle Surprise. So we will need to pick that up at some point. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's put away all the fruit. No need that extra pumpkin. And then I have extra pumpkin seeds as well. I put I put all the seeds because the farms are full right now, so I'm putting all the seeds in here for now because we did such a huge amount of uh, of stuff. So I can give the ultimate fruit salad to Frank, which is amazing. Is there anything else that I need to do for a quest over here? Mushrooms, toxic waste things, ultimate fruit salad and truffles. Oh, no, it is just truffle surprise. Okay, so I can do the doors. So truffle surprise is eggplant, truffle, carrot. Eggplant, truffle, carrot. That's awesome. So eggplants and carrots need to go back. Don't ask me why I took more more carrots out for that. I, I just had them in my brain, so I needed to, to just do it that way. So yeah, that's the two recipes for him done. Um, anything else? So yeah, I need to do the cleansing mushrooms, toxic waste. Give those in. Find one more key. Find the Olivier salad recipe somewhere, which will probably be somewhere in the underground, I expect. Or in one of the boxes somewhere. Okay, yeah, I, I think we're all done with the, the farming now. My inventory is looking a lot more tasty, a lot more free of stuff. I'll put the 
No, I won't put the books away. I'll keep them, actually. I've used so many books up now. But I think we are very close to... Oh, actually, I could take all the stuff out of here. Because it looks like my preservers are done. Oh, I know what I need to do. What I need to do is actually make the stuff. Uh, so one potato that I don't need there. I will keep like a stack of peppers. Well, actually, no, I have a stack of peppers in my box, don't I? So what I need to do is go and make all the upgrades I just purchased. Like I say, it could end up being the whole episode just doing this, just doing upgrades on the farm. So I'm going to need lots of, um, probably wood, probably rubble, probably electrical waste, probably components. Right, okay. Upgrades, so. Big backpack three! Oh yes! That's a good one. I really don't have enough components for that. Come on, I do, surely. Yeah, great. Hard and drill, three. Uh, it's, it, it, these are taking a lot of components at this point. I know where a lot of uh, boxes and things are, though, that I haven't done. Berry pickers gloves? Mm -hmm. Only if... Double resource drops. biggest water tank right so I still I do still need to do um, berry pickers gloves but the thing is I've got so many crops coming in right now and I'm just turning them like look how many preserves I have I don't need as many crops as I've got right now so I'm happy not to have double drops on the farm for now maybe later I might decide that I want them Holy gosh, that used up a lot of resources, didn't it? I need eight of these quality wood as well. Um, so I'm trying desperately to get those for the final part of the wood up, uh, the uh, deer wood thing upgrade. Uh, let's open up the house. You get two new rooms. Frank, I have your, your food, your gourmet food. Okay, my granddad's home has seen better days. Could you do something about it? Nah. What? Oh, here we are. Ultimate fruit salad. Which door shall I open? The brown one. Okay. I have the truffle surprise for you. Barred doors is done. The white door. Lovely. So... Recipes for decorations. Grilled vegetables. Carrots. Oh, and it only pro it costs prepared meals, not books. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, poached peach. Okay. That's cool, though. I got uh, like an upgrade on the decoration workshop that I haven't even made. But we can't do the furniture workshop until we have grilled vegetables, so I'll have to remember that. Not that I'm too worried about decorative stuff right now. I mean, that, that seems to me like a bonus episode at the end. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know why. Okay, so last time we finished off this whole area. Like, everything this side of the river is now done. Um, so now we need to cross to the other side of the river. And we've also got, like, more underground to explore. I don't think I've cleaned everything up in the underground. But uh, for now, we're going to do... That's good. Uh, for now, we're going to do this side of the river. We're just going to start off very slow. Still need that Olivier surprise, don't I? 
didn't get it there, but more components is always good because I was running super low on components and books. And unlike last time I came down here, I'm going to tidy up as I go. So I'll just quickly clear this section. The thing is, each section you do only takes an extra couple of minutes, but if you leave it all to the end, you've suddenly got hours worth of work to do. But it's much better to clean up as you go along. Life lesson. Okay, and there is yet another noxious uh, trash pile. I can go and grab. Beautiful. Getting late again. But again, it's going to allow me to work through the night and clear up all the bits I want to clear up so I don't have to rush and that is one of the reasons that I was struggling before was that I was feeling like I was having to rush to get quest objectives done so I couldn't just like take my time and clean up as I went because I was like oh well I've got to get this done before the end of the day so I'd rush past a lot of the trash and now I don't have to worry about that just take my time So I can say to myself, well, you know, as I move through, I'll just clean up as I go and then get to a certain quest objective or just keep going until I don't, ha until I have uh, my inventory is too full or my health is a bit too low and then just head back to the farm and clean everything up. And like I say, it's a really good reason to have big farms and to have uh, big banks of recyclers because if you have them, then you don't have to like worry about coming back to things, going back as often. Because at the moment, I think I've got 10 recycle. Yeah, I can do 5,000 trash per run. And it's quicker than it used to be as well, I'm pretty sure. I feel my throat going. I think this might have to be like the, the last batch in my recording batch. The last recording in my recording batch even. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not, it's not my last recording batch ever. I'm not quitting YouTube. <laughs> die, robot, die. I think I do super well with the, the upgrades and stuff. I think I'm now at a point where the upgrades and things I'm very much uh, needing to get components and books and all that stuff but I'm super glad that some people don't require books and just require preserves oh there's another book for me wonderful I don't think I can go any further here I think I can no okay that's fine we shall just keep going Hang on, all of a sudden it looks like there's a massive... Oh no, it's the... it's the. I was like, is there a noxious fume pile there? But it's not. It's just the hole that's in the middle. So that's fine. Okay, on. Onwards. Onwards to the strip mine. And let's go get the fungi before the end of the episode. And if we can do that, then that's going to be wonderful. Why are you so proud of me? Like, literally everything except the underground here is now cleaned up to where I've gotten to. I'm proud of me anyway. So. We'll clean up the strip mine. We will kill any robot-y dudes down here. I've got full health at the moment, which is wonderful. I can't remember whether I knew... I think I did have the whole vacuuming and... Vacuum drill at the same time thing going on last time I was down here. But it felt like it took ages. But you know, I think because I've been, as I say, doing things as I've gone along, it's not going to be so bad.
we just clean everything down in the actual strip mine itself. But also, yeah, I'm, I'm congratulating myself on doing all this. But at the same time, I do have to admit that the change to the being knocked out times made such a difference. The amount that it's given you to do, giving you that extra bit of time in the day. Super good. Right, I think that might be one of the fungi in there. Along with some components and some quality wood. Very nice. So it, it really is the chests and things where you're finding the quality wood. It's just that I never look at what I open them up and I never look at what I'm getting. So I'm on seven now. When I get to eight, that'll be the next part of their, the, the deer feeder that will be done. So wonderful. Hello. None of the more difficult ones down here so far. All been quite quite easy uh, robots. No fair. Let me in. Let me in. I want to come get you. I'm coming for you. Oh, I see. That noise is the water hitting. You little scallywags. They run away as well. They're such cowards. <laughs> Cowardy custards. Run away from me. You'll attack me from afar. A bit like Tally Ferret. She attacks from behind. She's so funny when she plays, when she play fights with you. She always goes behind your back. And tries to sort of nip you and jump on you from behind your back. It's actually really cute. That's why I call her Tally Assassin. My assassin ferret. Yeah, they're all doing really well at the moment. Even Siri. Even Siri is doing great just now. Um, you never know with some with the pet that's got cancer how long you, you're going to have with them. But so far, she just seems a happy little self. So that's just brilliant. seems a bit silly actually in a way to, to be cleaning up a <laughs> a dump but then you know it, I'm turning it into recycled waste so I'm basically coming to the dump and making it all into recyclables and we are going to go all the way through to five in the morning here so we're going to spend another two days out in the out in the wild it seems like to me honestly I want to come back like every like go back to the farm like every two days that seems to be when my inventory starts to fill up it seems to be when I start to lose enough health that I need to go and have a, a rest and I don't worry if I go back at like even if it's like 10 in the morning when I go back I'm not worried about that it's just nice to have as much time as I want when I'm up here but otherwise, it would have been a whole new day. I would have had to do all my farms and stuff. I would have come here. I would have had no time to do anything. Right, I think that is the, the middle part all cleaned up. Wonderful. It just means I can... Because uh, I like to focus on one thing at once as well. So it means that I can just focus on getting a job completed before I move on to another one. Which does really help me with the way that I do things. Because if I can do one job and finish it, then I don't need to come back to it. Right. You guys, all gone. I'm not going to worry about fighting you. I have enough batteries to last me the rest of my life. Okay, that's the next fungi. And we also got prepared meals. It's good for Frank because he is a gourmet. Oh, I missed one. But that's better than fighting like seven of them. Which would have been the, the case otherwise. Ah, 
How many funguses have we got now? I'll have to have a look. I think it's three. But yeah, that whole thing of not passing out. I ran out of room on my mouse mat then. It suddenly made this game very different and very chill. And um, and much more like methodical feeling. Big change. Like a little thing, but a big change. To the playstyle. I bet you guys have been waiting like so long for me to get to the point where um because i did a few quite a few episodes ahead i did like five or six episodes ahead i bet you've been like dying to see me get to that point no i had another batch of water not battery i have enough batteries to last me the rest of my life oh no oh no i released the hounds Need more water. I'm running back to the water. That's one thing about not going back to the farm is that you do kind of run out of water, but it's fine. I'm hoping Rudy can use this fungus. Oh, maybe the fungus is to load the bulbinator and then maybe I'll need to place it, actually. That's probably the case, but I, I can't find the place where I placed it before. So I think there's been some slight changes to the Bulbinator quest. I'm sure they have. They followed me. And now I have a tank full of water, so haha. -ha. Okay, so now I can just get rid of these. Before I have to fight them. That saves me so much time. Although it is still kind of annoying that I have to take the vacuum cleaner off and uh, and then I've got to take the I've got to take the vacuum cleaner off again and uh, and use the drill and la 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 and la 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 and I'll draw all of these just in case and then I'll take them down. Yeah, because you've got to do it in a certain order. You have to put the drill on before you can hoover. So it's like. You, you take it all off and then all of a sudden you've got to like put it all back on in the right order again and it's just annoying right i think there is still a fight to be had down here and i think there's also a box over there to grab and then we'll go up and do the the top ring of this area as well and it's easy to see where i've been because i can see where i've cleaned and that kind of rhymed which i thought was awesome Yep, more fungi here. Fungi, fungi, fungi. I'm a fungi. Oh, he got me a little bit there. But other than that, that wasn't a bad fight. annoying that's where i start to get hurt is where the water runs out it is super irritating when the water runs out because this this area here is like kind of dry i think we need more puddles that's what we need in this game more puddles oh hang on yeah there's puddles in the middle like i went all the way down to the blinking there's puddles there and i bet you 100 pounds i can fill up from the puddles can i no okay any other puddle? Can I put fill up from this one? No. Okay. Well, I've lost a hundred pounds to you guys. 
You know you're not getting it, right? <laughs> I do have to go back. It would be good if the if the water tank could be filled from those puddles. That would be a nice addition to the game. Just saying. Just saying. I'm trying to remember, there, there was a way to get up onto that uh, that hilltop up there. I'm trying to remember how, because that used, that's the way to Cornelius. Spoilers. <laughs> he's up he's up the top there, so I need to work out how to get up there and see him. I think it's past here, though. I think it's past the rubbish dump. But yeah, it's slightly annoying me that every time I want to get a full tank of water, I have to go back all the way back to the river. It's not good times. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the, the last little bits of trash around here. Unless I already did. No, I did not. And then we'll, we'll actually walk up the big escalator thing. Um, how many mushrooms have I got? Oh, I do have five. So do I carry on? Well, I've got a little bit of the episode left, so... I'll carry on for just a little bit. get this second ring done and then I will I'll see whether I want to go back to Rudy or whether I want to continue exploring and cleaning around this area but it'll probably be next episode yeah all done lovely so there are still boxes I mean I'll be able to see the boxes more I don't know if it, when I hand it in whether the yellow things around the boxes start to go away because that might be a bit annoying. So maybe what I should do is just stop cleaning for just a minute. And just grab as many of the cleansing funguses as possible. Oh, well, that's annoying. I'll jump on down there. So I know that I've grabbed them all and then I'll come back and clean a bit later. I know normally that's not my style right now. But I just want to make sure that I've got everything that I can. So there's a box up there I can drop down to. And there's a box... Um, where else did I see one? Up there. That's it, I think, then. Okay. Good to know. Hang on, what? I've lost one. Oh, yeah, it's up there. Okay, so run around here. Just gonna try and avoid them for now. There's a box up there, but that's not got fungi in it. There's also one behind there. That's my last piece of quality wood I needed, or, or might not be the last one, but it's one of the last ones. There. More components and books and quality wood. Awesome. In here. As I say, I'm just worried that if I hand these just into Rudy before I've like gotten all of them, that I won't be able to find them again. So just that this is one reason to not worry too much about cleaning as you go. I just want to have that done by the end of the episode. So I will get this last uh, noxious fume pile. So how many have I got left to do? I don't think there's many. One more. I think I know where it is as well. But I don't, we don't have a lot of the Lonely Hills left to do now. A couple more episodes worth and then we're definitely moving on. 
Okay, so I'll give this back to Rudy and we can get the Bulbonator stuff all sorted. And then I'm going to head back to my farm because well, actually my inventory isn't awful. But I do want to plant any seeds. Um, I am a bit behind on seed planting at the moment. I've got some like hanging around in a chest and I don't generally like that. I'd like to upgrade my... Uh, what are they called? I'd like to upgrade my... Pro no, uh, 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 preservers. That's the one. I'd like to upgrade my preservers. And just make sure that my inventory isn't like chock full of stuff. And we need to go down to the underground. Uh, I need to find Cornelius in this area. I need to go down to the underground. I need to clean trash up. I don't think... Well, unless that is, that is the transition through to the, the shiver... No, I think we have to go through the valley for that. I don't know why I'm going that way. It's not where I want to go. So I think I have to go through the valley to get to the Shivering Peaks, is it? Bulbonita stands ready. Do you have the fungi? Yes. It's time to feed the machine. Yes, here it is. Implements of Bulbonation. Now you need to place it in the hole. There's a route underground that leads there, but where? This place might be swarm swarming with robots and they're lured to all places unnatural. So, we need to help Frank and Rudy return to their home in the village. Now our work in the Lonely Hills is closing to an end. Perhaps the friends I met there would like to return to the village. Once the dear home is rebuilt, I should talk to Frank. And once we neutralize the gas in the hall, I should talk to Rudy. Okay. Cool. So, we need to go through to the, the underground, apparently. However... Previously, it was just you kind of went down the hole here. Oh yeah, look, there's a ladder there. So let's see if we can quickly do that before the end. Oh, we, we're only at 47 minutes. So I don't know if now this ladder here is the way down. It looks like it'll go down into the hole. Oh yes, I remember. Okay. So I've still got the bulbinator, right? Yes, and it's full of fungus. Fungi. Fungi. I think there's a few robots to fight down here and, and there's some stuff to clean up as well. Gotta oh, keep running. Okay. Now I may run out of water. If that's the case, I'm in trouble. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I forgot about the little guys. Okay, they're gone. I don't have much in the way of health or water. It gets me even one time I'm dead. Okay, the little guys are there. Well, the one last little guy like kills me. No. Okay, we got them. Whew, that was really close. If anywhere was a place for a recipe, this would be it, right? Oh, perfect. It has a much nicer placing now. Oh, I like it. It's very obvious where to put it now. So we have finished the clear skies objective and that was much nicer they've just sort of integrated that into the whole putting down the box mechanic i like that a lot so i'll clear this room and again i'll just i'll sign off and then i'll head back to the farm off camera and then next time we will start on the farm i'll clean my inventory out i'll plant all the seeds i need to plant and then we will come back and try and uh, find the things we need to finish off this deer wood look because I'm still a recipe short. Um, it might need to go into the underground to find it.
But we've done this part and Ro now Rudy can go home. So I may just on the way past. I actually might film going back to my bed because on the way past we want to go see Rudy. And he's right, right next to the fast travel thing anyway. Okay, that's nice and clean. Last little bit on this side. Oh, there's another chest on this side. Ah, this is why you always clean up after yourself. There's still no Olivier salad recipe. Suck full, but yeah, we've cleaned up after ourselves down here. We've got the bulbinator. We've got two ducks in here as well, if need be. If you do need extra ducks and duck eggs, I think I'm at the point now where I've pretty much got all of the, the duck, egg, duck egg recipes that I can, that I need, that I've from the people I found so far anyway. So that's fine. So let's now go see Rudy and tell him he can go back home. So now that disgusting, horrible, icky, nasty thing is all sorted out. I've got one more noxious uh, pile of waste to find somewhere to, to deal with. And we've got to find... Well, I think we might be able to talk to Frank because I've got the, the eight pieces of quality wood now. So, um, I'm wondering, now our job is complete, why don't you move to the village? My family used to live there, but the house is all ruined. I don't think I can repair it. Um, I have plenty of resources. I can give you 100 recycled materials, 20 wood and 20 rubble. Easily. You'll figure something out. Hmm, with this much stuff, I might just have a shot. Thank you, Ellen. I'll get to it in a minute. By the way, I just remembered. I believe in the basement of my old house. Should be a key to the gate leading to the frozen peaks. Visit me there and I will give it to you. Oh... Nice. Rudy mentioned he has a key to one of the previously sealed areas neighbouring the village. I should pay him a visit back at his home in the village. Hmm. His home in the village. Is that the village like over there? Rudy's home. We'll find out next time. I'll go and have a look for Rudy's house. I don't know if he means like... The village is in, like, by, um, thingies. Oh, yeah, because there's loads of, like, rubbled down houses in the valley. Maybe that's what he means by the village. How can the Grand Doctor Frank make your life better? Oh, I thought... Let me just have a quick look at the quests here. So, Lonely Hills. Uh, Operation Deer Stage 4. Ah, right. Yeah, I need the salad first. So we are basically looking for this salad recipe. Gonna be looking everywhere for it. So I'm gonna try and clear as many as much of the area as possible. We're also looking for um, key parts. There's a key part somewhere and there's also another toxic waste thing. So we're gonna try and look for those next episode. In the meantime, I am gonna go back to my farm and we are gonna go to bed. If I can get back to the fast travel location. Um, we're gonna go to bed. And then next time I will start off with the farm. We will clear all this rubbish out of my inventory, put it all in the appropriate places, uh, plant all the appropriate seeds and do all the appropriate recycling. <laughs> Come and finish the area. And probably, so probably the episode after next or maybe a couple of episodes time. We will be ready to go to the frozen peaks. The new area. I keep calling it like the Shivering Peaks and stuff. I'm sure like, there's so many different games that have so many different names for like mountainous areas that I'm like getting really confused. But that's that's my problem, not yours. So anyway, <laughs> there we are. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more uh, No Place Like Home, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.